Hey guys, it's Ace Hit here, and today we're going to show you how to add a second controller to your RetroPlex system. If you remember from our very first video, we added a Super Nintendo style controller with the four X, Y, A, and B buttons, and the two L and R buttons. This time we're going to add a simple Nintendo style controller with just the A and B buttons and the D-pad. So this will play most of the games on the system, but I won't play any of the things where we do need the analog sticks for. Again, this information can be found on the RetroPy website. If you go to Docs, Getting Started, Controller Configuration, this walks through the steps on how to add another controller. And we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So during the RetroPie setup, we went and we configured our the Super Nintendo type style controller, which was uh, four buttons with the D-pad and one L and one R. What we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to configure a regular Nintendo style controller. Now this is a Nintendo style controller with a USB connector, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug that right into the RetroPie. All right, now that that's plugged in, what we're going to do is we're going to take our controller that we have already set up, and we are going to hit start, and we are going to configure input. And you want to make sure you hit the A button and hit yes. So it says two game pads. It says two game pads detected now. So we're going to want to hit press A on the one that we are going to configure. It's going to come up USB gamepad, and now we're going to go ahead and configure it. Up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B. Now this one doesn't have any X or Y or shoulder buttons, so we're just going to hold the button to configure it. I'm going to do this for all these buttons here until we get to the hotkey, and we're going to want to have hit select on that hotkey. Didn't hold it long enough. All right, enable hotkey, we're going to want to hit select, and then we'll hit A to close out of that. All right, so here we are. So again, I'm using this controller now to move it, and if I were to go back to my other Super Nintendo controller, and this is all set to go as well. Well, I hope you found that useful, guys. Again, this will work with any wired controller, so any controller that has the cord coming right out of it with the USB on the end of it, you plug it right into the RetroPie, and you go through these same steps to get it all set up. The RetroPie will support up to four controllers, so if you, as long as you're going only up to four, you're good to go. We're going to go over different videos in the future on how to do Switch controllers, Xbox 360 controllers, Xbox controllers, PlayStation controllers, and any of the other wireless Bluetooth controllers. They're all a little bit different, different drivers here and there, so we'll go through that each in a different video in the future. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get notified when more videos come up. Make sure you hit that like button for me, and if you've got any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys.